Hi, it's Rachel from Team Forget-Me-Nots. Come along with me as I transform this space-saving hideaway table and chair set. I got this table and chair set for free from a neighbour who was doing a garage sale and was just trying to get rid of everything. It's a perfect little table as the chairs fold up and store away under it so it's really great in a small space or when you're only using it occasionally. Funnily enough, the table actually came with four stools, but someone else had taken two of the stools already as they didn't realise they were part of the set. So it came to me with just the two stools, but I thought that was perfectly fine. But to hide the fact that there were two missing, the first thing I did was take out two of the edge bits of wood where they stored away, so it looked like there was only ever meant to be two there. The set was in pretty reasonable condition. The top of the tabletop was a little bit worse for wear, but nothing that a bit of sanding wouldn't fix. And there was some broken veneer on some of the stools, probably from where they'd been bashed around a little bit by being packed away. I could have used wood filler to hide where the veneer was chipped, but I thought that was probably a short term solution. So instead I just removed the bits of veneer instead. Now normally I clean the piece before sanding and clean it again and then after um, but I knew I was going to be sanding back to the raw wood so it seemed silly to clean wood that I would just take off again. So I started by using the sander on 120 grit sandpaper and then 180 grit sandpaper to get it back to the nice natural wood colour. Now the top was veneer so I had to be careful with it because if I made a hole in it then it would be difficult to hide that with the stain which I was hoping to use on it later. You can see how much of a difference already it was just by sanding that top back compared to the stool that I hadn't done yet. Now there's still sanding dust here so it looks a little bit patchy but I think the lighter wood colour looks a lot more fresh and modern. And then finally I did clean them so I used white lightning and gave it a rinse with clean water afterwards which just took the majority of the sanding dust off and a few of the cobwebs which are hiding underneath. So my plan was to do a combination of painting and staining for the final look. So I started by painting the legs with black sands, which is a sort of charcoal-y black colour in the silk paint range from Dixie Belle. And I did two coats of this on the legs in total. My initial plan was to stain the entire of the stool top, as I thought that would look really nice. But after I started sanding it back to the raw wood, I thought it might be more interesting actually to do a combination of paint and stain. So for the stain, I'm using this new product called Au Naturel, which is again by Dixie Belle, and it's one of their Voodoo Gel Stains. And I'm going to go a little off track because how they advise you use it is not actually how I used it, so you can decide for yourself how you want to use it if you use this later. And I'll link all the products down below if you're interested in getting any of them yourself. So I poured the stain across the table and then used a foam brush to brush it all over. Now I wasn't too careful about the brush strokes initially, I just made sure that the whole piece was covered and then went back afterwards to even it out. So how you're supposed to use the product, and how I did use the product initially, was I waited about 20 minutes and then wiped it off again so it came back to be more of a translucent look. But I actually preferred how it looked after I put it on originally when it was a bit more opaque. And because it's a water-based product, it was easy for me to remove while it was still a little bit wet. So I used my spray mister bottle to get it all a little bit more wet and rubbed it off. And the majority of it came off, it was just a little bit sunk into the grain. And then I just reapplied it and didn't remove it afterwards. And that's the look that I finished with and was really happy with. And then as a final step, I went over both the stain and the black sections and the legs with a sealer and I used clear coat in flat. I was really happy with how it all turned out so I didn't want to detract from that by changing it by giving it a satin or a gloss look. So flat was perfect to maintain the same look. And I did two coats of that in total. So here we have the finished piece and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think the contrast between the natural wood and the grey black sections are really lovely and much more modern and interesting. And it's such a convenient shape set as well that you can just hide away into a corner and only bring it out when you need it. And the stools can be used as stools or as plant stands by themselves. I think it's just a perfect little set. If you found this video useful or interesting, please consider subscribing. It makes a huge difference to smaller channels like mine. 
People often ask what I do with my pieces, whether I sell them or if they're for myself. And I do sell my pieces in a local barn shop in Hertfordshire in England. So check out the comments and I'll write in them if this piece is still available or has already sold. Until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye!